they would understand that right, right. now, right today, right, we had better arm ourselves. Now I know this is going against some things, but I'm mm -hmm. here to tell you that mm -hmm. if I'm gonna understand what's happening today, right. I gotta look at the last 20 years, life in itself. Right. But I'm here to tell you today, we aren't our ancestors. Mm -hmm. We're not for all this patronizing and right. won't let you come to my yard and hang me in the time you want. Right. They ain't working today. Right. They are getting ready for a civil war right here in the United States of America. Right. Our, our warfare is not a physical warfare. I, I want to make sure our people, it's a spiritual warfare. Because if y'all don't remember, it was a brother in Dallas that was fed up with the police, the police uh, uh, killings down in New Orleans. And he went to war against the police. And guess what happened? The brother got his behind blew up. All right. Give me the scripture where it says, let your yeas be yay and your nays be nay. All right. For the longest, and all the churches I go to, I see this image of Jesus Christ. So I'm left with this, like, when I start to say that Jesus Christ is a black man, because the scripture says he's a black man, right? The scripture says Jesus Christ is a black man, according to Revelations 1 and 14. But I get this image because they say, this image proves what? Shows that Christ is white. It doesn't prove he's black. It doesn't prove at all he's black. Because guess what? His color is gonna explain a lot. His message, right? Because guess what? Not only, watch this y'all, not only did the Messiah change, his people change. People think of God's chosen people as those folks over there in Israel. They call them Jewish. Because of this image, this image right here. But the Bible says the Jews are black. So, read that scripture. Did you find it yet? Did you pull it up to you? Watch this. Because I asked you a direct answer and then you beat it around the bush. Which is okay. Watch this. You, that's exactly what you did. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 37. But let your communication be yay, yay, or nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. So God said that your answers be yay and nay. Like, you ask me, ask me if Jesus Christ, what color is Jesus Christ? Yeah, he asked the question with a question. Yeah, he asked the question with a question. What color is Jesus Christ? Ask me that. Jesus Christ is a black man, not the proof. Now you good, you good. I'm interested in what got Baron on the other side. See, I can get the answer wrong. I got some listening to you. asking me while I'm down here. Uh-huh. But when I get there, I better head right in. What is there? See. What is there? I better know who Jesus is. Okay, what is there? What do you mean? What okay, so you, okay, let me let me deal with this. You talking about heaven, right? Get to the kingdom. Is that what you're talking about? Well, it depends on how you want to say that. That's what I'm asking. But I know where you, the, the scripture just said, let your days be yay. Make it plain. But now you see, you're reading that scripture, but you best you really understand that scripture. All right. To its fullest extent. So what is there? Where, where are we going? Are you when talking get, about the kingdom? When I get with the Lord, with the Lord when to the I kingdom. get with the Lord, I better be able to tell him, I better be one knowing who Jesus is while I'm down here. So how do you know Jesus? In my heart. In your heart? In my heart. And what does that mean? What, 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 when the Bible refers to the heart, what is the heart according to the Bible? Well, if you want to talk about the mind, you want to talk about the that's what the That's what it is, yeah, right? I, I understand that part. That's what you mean, but, right? But, yeah, but what, okay. but what I'm getting at is this. Right. Look, when I was talking to you, young man over here yes, a minute ago. See, where we go wrong, right? Is we want to label things of color, uh huh, and the thises and right. the that's, when really they ain't but one thing, right? It is whatever the Lord says, uh huh, is a yeah. Gotcha. Because you see, it ain't but one true book, and that's the Bible. True, we agree. Everything else we get, that, 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 they're no good. Okay. The Bible is the only book. All right. Period. I got you. Matter of fact, now, I got you. Let me, let me, let me deal with something. Let me, 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 let me,
Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Now hold, don't, don't, not that. Give me Songs of Solomon 1 and 5. Let's get to the beast and grace. Songs of Solomon 1 and 5. Watch this. The book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Bring it out. I am black. Read it from the top. V verse 1, the Song of Songs, which is Solomon's. So this is Solomon, right? This is Solomon. Watch what Solomon says. Verse 5, I am black, but comely. What did Solomon say? I am black, but comely. And we are reading out of the Bible. So for God to put it in the Bible, meaning it matters. Now you give me first, now you give me what I was telling you to hold. There you go. See, see, that was simple. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have to dabble around, you know what I'm saying? Because watch this, I'm gonna give you, tell me if you agree with this. This is Christ, right? You say you about Christ's business and you about what Christ's talking about, right? Give me Revelations 13 and uh, 10. Let's actually see. If you really about what Christ is talking about. The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 9. Bring it out. If any man have an ear, let him hear. If any man have an understanding, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity. Another word for captivity is slavery. He that leadeth into slavery shall go into captivity. Read. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Who brought the Negroes over here on cargo slave ships? Was really the Israelites. Who brought us over here on cargo slave ships? God says, Christ says, they must be what? Who lead us into captivity must what? Shall go into captivity. Meaning they gonna go into slavery. That's right. Read. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. And he must be killed with the sword. That is Jesus Christ. So what color is that? That's in red. That's in red. So that is Jesus speaking. You agree with that? Yeah. All praises to the Most High. So you agree with the so-called all the nations, because believe it or not, history shows that all nations had a part in our slavery. So guess what? Since they led us into captivity in the kingdom, they are going into slavery. That's right. I am a strong believer and have preached for the longest that America is not a Christian country. In fact, we agree with you on that. That's a fact. In fact, if you just use common sense and yes, just look at regular history, you find that everything America got, they, they're all their power, everything they got, they either stole it, took it, or killed for it, True. or whatever. Look. Exactly. Now, now, now you cook it. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. It's common sense. Uh, 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 now we got some Christians in America, right? But America itself is not Christian. No, it's far as far from Christian. This and is the we, same place that say that it's okay for two men to get married, right? Yeah. Hey, not only that, Pastor, yeah. the hmm. own the same people that say the laws of God is done away with. Hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. They say that in the Christian church. Hmm. Right now, yes, sir. Time and I've been preaching this for the last three years, and folks look at me like I'm crazy. Yes, sir. But I'm gonna tell you something, right? If ever, right, there was a time that black folks, right. going against some things, but I'm here to tell you that if I'm gonna understand what's happening today, right. I gotta look at the last 20 years. Watch this, right. and then give me a few. So you're saying you saying you gotta go backwards to understand what's, yeah. Now, what we're fixing to go into now, right. is that all of us right. better get our ducks to row and we better get together. Right, I got you. Hey, because, you because the slavery that brought us here, right. He's trying to do it again. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. I like, to, I like the way you think. If it ain't trying to bring us back in it, it's right. trying to send us away from it. I got you. Let me, let me, let me help you out. And, and it's coming. Can, can I help you out? It's here today. I got you. For the last the five years, right? the government been sponsoring 
Real Greek. Weapons training. Real Greek. In Arizona. Right. In Tennessee. We gonna get uh, famous for. So, but all of this right. is for what's coming up now. All right. Let me let me deal with some real quick. Let me let me deal with some. Give me Romans thirteen real quick. Our our warfare is not a physical warfare. I, I want to make sure our people. It's a spiritual warfare because if y'all don't remember, it was a brother in Dallas that was fed up with the police the police uh, uh, killings down in New Orleans, and he went to war against the police. And guess what happened? The brother got his behind blew up. You can't go against this man with arms and think you're gonna win. Wow. This man can blow up your house from the skies from a, 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 a from a uh, drone. From a drone. Thank you. From a drone. It's not a physical war. But watch this. Let me get some real quick, brother. Hold on. Romans chapter twelve and verse seventeen. Recompense to no man evil for evil. Provide things honest in the sight of all men. If it be possible, as much as lieth in you. Live peaceably with all men. So we have to live peacefully with all men. Now give me that in Daniels, and the reason why is because of what? You know what I'm looking for in Daniels? You got it? Uh-huh. I think it's chapter four, when it talks about uh, the most high ruling in the kingdom of men. The book of Daniel, chapter four and verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand of, by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. That the most high God is in control. Even though we see that the white man got arms and stuff, still God is in control. Our I thing is that. we must I keep his commandments, that. and I guess agree. what, he gonna fight for us. I, I agree with that. Yes, sir. But I'm here to tell you today, Uh huh. what they think happened on Black Wall Street can't happen no more to be crazy. Mm. But I keep in mind one thing he said. Right. Watch, work, and pray. Mm. So, okay. I'm not going back to Satan. See, here, <laughs> see here, here's, the, which, here's the thing. Right. Our forefathers, our mother, my father, my mother was. Uh, right, yes, sir. Okay. What's your name, what, by the way? What's your name? Was, uh, Sam, Sam. Brother Sam. Sam. Nice to meet you, brother Sam. Let's be have a dollar. What, what, what they did. Yeah. What, uh -huh. what they did. Right. In patronizing back then. Right. With the white man was so that their children could have a better life for themselves right but i'm here to tell you today we are in our ancestors mm -hmm. we're not for all this patronizing and right. won't let you come in my yard and hang me anytime you want right that ain't working today right watch this, this me, is, what this you is, holding for me this is how come i tell you yes. where we at point. today because we are getting ready for a civil war and right here in the point. united states of america watch, the watch this it's I'm gonna show you something. Are you right? This is what we have to do. Back. What's your name again? I forgot. I, my, my. Just call me Sam. Mr. Sam, Mr. Sam, watch this. I'm gonna get you two scriptures, Sam. Watch this. Uh, give me Luke uh, 168, and then we're gonna go to Isaiah 14. Watch this, y'all. The book of Luke, Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, not our nation, but of Israel, because he is the God of the Israelites. Yes, For he has visited and redeemed his people. He has visited and redeemed his people, which is the Israelites. And has raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, uh -huh. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, really? which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. That we shall be saved from who? Uh -huh. Our enemies. Believe it or not, America is the black man enemy. Christ said he's going to come and save us from our enemies. All nations is our enemies. So all we got to do as we did in Egypt is sit back and let the Lord work. What did God do to the Pharaoh's army? He destroyed them and killed them. That's all we got to do is keep his commandments because we got to understand who put us here was the father. He put us here because of what? We disobeyed his commandments. Us, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are the people of God. And we disobeyed him. So guess what he did? He whooped our behind and allowed for this nagatooth man to do this to us. Bring it out. How in the world do you have on a slave plantation 200 strong black men and one snaggletooth white man does this to you? 
God must have put the spirit of fear upon you. Jesus. This is the only way this could be done. God had to have his hand a part of this. Give me Amos 3. Look at this. This is us. Yeah. This is the greatest atrocity on the planet Earth. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.